I'm at Mr. Grice's house in South Salem. This is uh, Grant Putnam, Putnam Landscaping. So it's roughly a 70 foot by 90 foot area that you're trying to expand the lawn. Um, as far as prep work goes, remove this log going through here. Remove that stump that's uprooted. Clean up the kind of the brush right behind the pool. Just rip it out. That, I know that's not your property, so you have to check with the neighbors to make sure it's okay to clean that area up there, right in front of this fence. Maybe just up, to, just up to that first tree. So, not not going all the way back, but just up to that first tree. And then the other primary area that you're cleaning would be where I'm standing here next to the stump, on an angle down to where the fence is damaged, where the chain link fence is damaged, the neighbor's chain link fence, and then going down to there's an existing stone wall going down through there. Um, a lot of these wood chips, rather than them hauling off the property, we could actually kind of fill this kind of void right here. So we could push those over. It'll save some costs rather than having to move them off the property. Just let them naturally biodecay over here on the hill. All right, and then possibly plant some bushes along the top of the hill to try to get you some privacy. Say over the course of one, two, three sections. So it's roughly 27 feet from here down to that post where you possibly put some plantings along the top of that hill okay you might want to have that gr that stump ground right there from the stump grinding company okay um, then we've got taking out one two three four more additional trees uh, removing those and again either yanking the stumps or grinding them down um, Removing all the brush, grinding and removing the existing stumps, all the logs, all the way back to the chain link fence. So you need an excavator in here to be able to rip out all the roots. Um, and again, some of these wood chips we could even use along the back fence rather than bringing the mulch, use the wood chips around the new plant, the new trees. Uh, so for the new trees along the back, You'd start about, again, where the chain link fence is broken and continue down to the wall. So it's like, see, one, two, three. It's about 35, 40 linear feet that you could cover with evergreen trees down in that area. Okay. Um, for the hill, because of the slope, you don't want to have a lot of erosion right after you put the seed down. We have to use jute erosion control over roughly 75% of the area, 75% of the 70 by 90 foot area, which is like this netting fabric that goes on top of the soil, prevents it from eroding during a heavy rain. Um, and that's about it. So we'll talk to you soon.